was coined against the backdrop of the global pandemic that has affected the entire world. As you are aware, COVID-19 has affected the entire world. It has impacted the global health of citizens across the world. It has also impacted on the economy and on social interactions occasioned by the lockdown. The fact remains that the most impacted people have been our persons of concern, of which migrants make up a huge number. So it is only appropriate that going forward, we discuss and come up with strategies on how to address issues concerning migrants in Nigeria. It is for this singular reason that conversations this year will be centered around persons of concern. The year under review has been a difficult one for all of humanity and as the agency mandated by the government of Nigeria for the care and maintenance of persons of concern, the Refugee Commission ensured the national food drives were held around the country to ease the burden of accessing food during the lockdown. Persons of concern in Abuja, Benue, Kwara, Borno, Zamfara, Katsina, and Cross River states benefited from food palliatives. Other assistance provided to POCs during the lockdown also included me medicines, hygiene items, and surgical face masks, all within the framework of best practices of migration management in Nigeria. I would like to reiterate that the plight of persons of concern is one that causes so much heartbreak and sleepless nights to all Nigerians. That's why at the peak of the lockdown, we worked day and night to get across to the most vulnerable of our population to ensure that they were all taken care of. Members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, God willing, the Refugee Commission, IOM, and other relevant stakeholders in the migration space will ensure that existing mechanisms that will foster access to health care human rights and social protection for migrants in Nigeria as provided in the Global Compact on Migration and the framework for this national implementation are effectively looked into. At this juncture, permit me to thank the management and staff of the National Refugees Commission, the RAM, and the Swiss government for their continuous and consistent support in ensuring that the National Migration Dialogue holds unfailingly every year. Thank you, members of the press, for amplifying our messages to the general public. Your support has indeed made our job easier in informing and educating the public on the efforts of government towards reducing the hardship faced by persons. <laughs>